Doku is my man of the match, but you still see lapses. Lapses why Mpep prefers Grealish to Doku in terms of being more, let's say, calmer on the ball. Doku is like Doku is a speed star. He feels he can achieve everything he, he needs with speed. Final scoreline of the game: City five, Luton Town one. Now, Man City are now top of the league table. Do you see yourself staying there, bro? For us to stay there, Arsenal has to lose or Arsenal has to draw. Mm. Mm. <laughs> That's now the condition. Excel. City have completely swept Luton Town aside. I'd have called it a clean sweep, but Ross Barkley got himself a goal. So it is not a clean sweep. Yeah, you just simply yeah. swept them aside. 5 1, the final scoreline of the game. And Guardiola with the final goal. It was really amazing. Although um, the person I'll blame for that goal was Nunes. Um, Nunes had a one on one chance with the goalkeeper. He just stumbled and fell. That was the same thing that happened before we, we, had, we considered this goal. He was meant to defend after the pass from Ederson. He was meant to defend and give the ball forward. He stumbled again and fell, and the opposition player took, took advantage of the ball. And that was, uh, this, this, I can't blame Ederson for that. It's Nunes. I, I now see why Pep benches him most times. Because I don't just know why. Is it that it is he didn't eat well, or I don't just understand? He just stumbles when he's with the ball. And at times like that, it, it cost us a goal in this match. Imagine if we were playing a very competitive or a very a stronger opponent that wasn't Luton. It would have been it would have been costly. But that aside, we won the match comfortably, 5-1. And I like I'll say Doku, Doku, Doku was really exceptional. Did you see his goal? It was just a solo, it was almost like a solo effort. He displayed yeah. exceptionalism. And also let's also talk a, a little about tactics. Pep Guardiola, um, the game saw it was a game of patience. You were patient, you tried yeah. to build up play in the first half. You were one or one nil up in the first half, but they kept the loop block, so it was difficult for you to break successfully. Now, we saw Doku hold possession of the ball and he always moved from the left wing to the right wing and then retained his position there with Alvarez switching over. Let's get your analysis yeah. on that tactics from Pep Guardiola. What was he trying to achieve? Most times, just like I've said, for teams who haven't been able to score, they have been playing low block, they have been playing compact. And it has been it has been troubling Man City. So that was the best way. Because if we are if we are being sincere, on the left wing, I've forgotten the name of the defender. He he, he gave Doku a run for his money. He practically was was following Doku up until Doku was able to find that um this in penalty that Haaland um scored because he was the one that created the penalty. Until he was able to find that penalty and for that that play had exhausted everything in his arsenal before Doku was able to get that penalty. Doku practically, <laughs> it was there was no argument when he gave the penalty because it was so obvious. So for Doku in this match, Doku actually played, he, he, he really put up his A game. But the thing is that, just like he put up his A game in this match, the problem with him is that most times this tactic doesn't work with Doku because Doku is the kind of person that likes to rely on speed. Speed and Due to that, why Grealish? Grealish works with drive. Grealish drives in, then he creates, he passes. So of the passes that Doku creates, it's just like he doesn't meet the finishing touch. There was a pass he gave that no one was able to get the, the get at the back of. And it's really annoying because those are amazing chances. But the thing is that football is a team game. And when you create chances like this, if your teammates are not in the right position to put the ball in the net, it's, 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 it's just like it's wasted. In spite of the fact he performed very well, it you see that in terms of um, the chemistry, full chemistry, compared to Grealish, Grealish has a better chem chemistry with Haaland because Haaland is our ace. In terms of team chemistry, I, I think that's the reason why um, Pep prevents and uh, prefers Grealish. In terms of team chemistry, finding the ace Haaland, it's, it's easier for Grealish. But in terms of Doku, Doku gives passes. He's very good at giving passes. But now the issue is, those passes find the person that is meant to finish those passes at the at the end of the match it seems like doku was beginning to understand or have a better chemistry with the team because he gave one pass to guardio that was a finisher then he was able to um cut and give that solo goal and he was able to create the penalty which is which is beautiful but 
all through the match, let's say the first half, when we were in the stage of that patience, we we're trying to get the goal and we we're pressing and everything, you, you tend to see where the passes were not going in. But in spite of the passes not going in, there were corners that were created, which was a chance for better attacking opportunities. Dok is my man of the match, but you still see lapses. Lapses is why Mpep prefers Grealish to Doku in terms of being more, let's say, calmer on the ball. Doku is like, Doku is a speed star. He feels he can achieve everything he needs with speed. And for some defenders, that doesn't work. A defender that is calm, calm-minded, he will take the ball from you. And that's the end of the decision. And City plays high press. That's a big problem for City. But with the five goal win, blame I've already blamed Nunes for for the goal, the the goal that Luton scored. But so far, it's impressive. It's impressive. It's an impressive win. We have few matches till the end of the league. So let's see if we can clinch the the and uh, win the league, and probably win a treble again if possible. Okay, <laughs> so you have Doku as your man of the match. But the thing is. On our thumbnail, yeah. we have Kovacic on uh, on everything football's thumbnail. So since Doku is a man of the match, we're going to change that and put a Doku's picture. So that's what's up. Now, City beats um, Luton Town 5-1. Although, yeah, we had to praise Kovacic for his first goal, his first Premier League goal, which was which was a stunner. It was really amazing. <laughs> okay, so you're saying yeah, we, should, we, should leave, we should leave Kovacic there, yeah? No, no, no. It has to be Doku. Doku, to be Doku. Doku puts in the effort. We have to give it to Doku. All right, so Doku it says, final scoreline of the game, City 5, Luton Town 1. Now, Man City are now top of the league stable. Do you see yourself staying there, bro? For us to stay there, Arsenal has to lose or Arsenal has to draw. Mm. <laughs> mm. That's now the condition. That's the condition. But we hope to win the league. That's that. The, because there's no way with the, the compactness of matches. You have six in the Champions League and with the compactness of matches, it, it, is, it is inevitable that someone will drop points but i'm praying that it's not the city i'm definitely praying that it's not the city because city has 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 gone on an unbeaten run for 26 games so i'm praying it should not be city but with the compactness of uefa champions league fa cup and the premier league yeah it's it is inevitable and um, we just hope for this kind of performances so far but in terms of defensive lapses we we just we just need to work on it because in matches that have team of the same quality like City, it will cost us games. 5-1 it is, and I, I'm very happy with Man City's scoreline. Although, it seems like they were able to hold us throughout the first half. All the four goals came in the second half. Just like you said, patience paid off. All right, patience paid off. Five on the final scoreline. City are currently the league leaders. Let's see how long they're going to stay up there for. Give a like to this video. Smash <laughs> on the like button. I want you to subscribe to Everything Football. Yeah, we give you post match reactions, we give you prediction shows, we give you news, transfer news, and updates. Kindly hit on that subscribe button so you're going to get to see our videos the moment they are released. And we want you to be part of our community. Until next time, I'm Otis. This is Alpha XL. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show, bro. It's always a pleasure to talk football. We have been winning and I'm always happy to talk about it. <laughs> That's it from us. Bye for now.